Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea Smith, and today I'm gonna to be going through my nutrition plan. This year, I'm trying to get shredded, and I really want to stick to this diet. So, I think of it more as a life change and not a diet, but I still know that it's gonna be a little more intense to shred and cut fat at first, and then it's a lot easier to maintain once you have it. I definitely felt that way with losing a ton of weight. Like, once I just got the weight off, I was able to bring some things back in and not feel like I was just like starving all the time. If you want to see the video where I go through all of my supplements, that's right here. In my nutrition plan, I have these different categories. I've got protein, carbs, fats, water, vitamin, and fiber. And so I just need to figure out exactly how much of what to keep my body, um, to keep my body up and have the proper amounts. I want to have protein in every single meal. I'm gonna try to eat all the carbs before my workout if I'm gonna have any, and I'm gonna drink way more water than I think. I might have one like one cheap breakfast a week, which would be like a piece of Dave's Killer Bread with some avocado on it. I do love avocado, and I will probably put that in my breakfast as well. And I feel like I need to count some calories. Like I just need to know how much calories is in each and kind of keep my meals to like 500, 500 calories each meal except for breakfast. Breakfast, I feel like it's gonna be way less calories. But that's what I'm gonna to try to do, is just keep each meal to about 500 calories. That way I don't have to be like constantly counting my calories. But I'm just not gonna count vegetables. So if I'm gonna eat like a big spinach salad, like I don't need to like be counting the spinach calories. I think that's a little overkill. I'm gonna get nuts, peas, broccoli, chicken, fish, turkey, pork, egg whites i like to put egg whites in if i just put one egg in my omelet i'll put like a little bit of egg white too i feel like it just like adds a little more volume without the cholesterol i'm even gonna try some egg powder i've never tried it before but i'm gonna try it for carbs peanuts black beans I might try out some whole grain pasta and just make it for the week and bring it as my lunch for my fats i'll do avocados nuts fish, olive oil. I'm gonna make sure that I maintain a calorie deficit every day because that way I'll definitely be at least losing weight and then make sure that I have enough protein to be re rebuilding my muscles. Basically, I need to drink about a gallon of water a day. So one of my tricks is I like to just fill up like one of those Starbucks cups with ice water and sometimes I'll even go to Starbucks and be like, can I please have a water? Because it just, I like ice in my water and it's kind of hard to get ice like at work and stuff like that. Other foods that I love that you can stock up on, avocados, greens, kale, spinach, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms. I like to just put my sweet potatoes in the microwave. I don't know if that's good for you, but it's just so easy. If you need just a quick bite, berries, garbanzo beans, pinto beans, some whole grains. I like to stay away from bread altogether just because I can't trust myself with it. But if you love bread, then Dave's Killer Bread is really good. Chicken and turkey. I always try to get the lowest amount of sodium. And then of course for fiber, I'm gonna go with bean sprouts, nuts, almonds. I don't love tomatoes, but I don't mind if it's cooked. So like tomatoes are good for that too. I'm gonna try to limit my caffeine Right now, I'm only drinking caffeine like if I'm really exhausted, which I feel like is a good way to do it because I was drinking like just a decaf coffee every day, which to you is probably not that much caffeine. Some, some of you drink like multiple cups of coffee a day, but I just feel like I don't want to rely on any kind of upper. I also got some decaf green tea that's really good for at night. Green tea can help reduce total fat mass in your body, so I think I'm gonna try to drink like some green tea at least either in the day or at night before I go to bed. So that is what my nutrition plan is going to be. I will vlog my meal prep so that you know a little bit more of exactly what I'll be eating because I'm really gonna have to plan it out because there's no way that I can get shredded if I'm just like grabbing something at the last minute. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Make sure that you like and subscribe. If you wanna see my New Year's resolutions, you can check out that video here and see a little bit more of what I wanna do with this year.